Roger Marks. <laughs> Hello, darlings. This is Groucho Marx. And now I give you Cholula Bankhead and ten points. What do you mean, and ten points? I said ten points. That's five quarts, or would you like a case? I'll make you a price on a case. Groucho, is that the way to talk to a lady? Sir, you are suffering from delusions of grandeur. Now, just a minute, Buster. Don't you start ad-libbing with me, because when it comes to ad-libbing, I'll ad-lib you for the whole hour and thirty minutes. So if you want to just stand here and talk, I'll talk longer, harder, faster, and lower <laughs> than anybody you ever came up against. So watch it, brother. And right now, I wish you were one of the other three. Right now, I wish you were Harpo. <laughs> Listen, Groucho, this is a big show, and I'd like a little respect. I'd like some myself. Let's get one order for two. Groucho Marx. Okay, he could use a little, too. Let's all have some respect. Innkeeper, respect for everybody. Be my guest. Have you quite finished? Yes, and certainly hit the spot. That respect was a wonderful suggestion. Now, would you care to be a little more suggestive? Gee. <laughs> There's a radio program going on. Okay, let's sit on the couch and listen to it. I don't care to listen to it. Okay, let's sit on the couch and neck. <laughs> let's lock glasses. <laughs> Right now, Groucho, all right, let's settle down. I'll accept that. We'll buy a little house on the side of a hill, all painted white with green shutters. I can see the petunias coming up the walk. Are those petunias coming up the walk again? <laughs> let's turn out the lights and pretend we're not home. The petunias are not coming up the walk to see us. Well, as long as the lights are out, let's neck. Can't you think of anything but necking? Well, I'll try. No, I can't. <laughs> uh, Groucho, let's get back to the script, darling. All right, if you want to live dangerously, I'm game. Well, darlings, the big show is in Hollywood. And what a thrill it was to return to the scene of my former triumph. Groucho, I've already read that part. Let's move on. You just got the house, and now you want to move. I don't want to move from the house. That's the trouble. We never get out of the house. All day long, I cook and scrub, and staying up all night to trim the hedges. You trim the hedges at night? Every night the hedges come over to play poker, I trim them. <laughs> Groucho, I rue the day I ever asked you on this program. Ah, Rudy Lade. Ah, Paris in the spring. <laughs> Chocolate bar, mademoiselle? Groucho, the script. <laughs> well, darlings, the big show is in Hollywood, and what a thrill it is to return to the scene of my former triumph. Groucho, you haven't changed a bit since you were on this program a few months ago. And you haven't either. I see you still don't have a sponsor. <laughs> We can't all have sponsors. My sponsor is the DeSoto Plymouth car dealers. If you like, I'll speak to them about sponsoring your program. Well, I guess a little auto suggestion wouldn't hurt. <laughs> no moaning, please. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's make up a sponsor, the Plebo Company. The Plebo Company? How do you spell it? C-O-M-P-A-N-Y. <laughs> I waited, Goody. Let's give this program a little <laughs> class. <laughs> Let's give this program a little class. Before you introduce the next number, let's have a commercial. All right, commercial. This program is brought to you by the Plebo Company. For more than two generations, the public has been taking Plebo. And for more than two generations, the Plebo Company has been taking the public. <laughs> Recently conducted laboratory tests prove that more doctors are conducting laboratory tests than treating patients. <laughs> Exhausted scientists have proved that four out of five is 80%. 